What are the unforeseen consequences of human intervention in the environment? American marine biologist Rachel Carson wrote Silent Spring in 1962. In it, she protested against the chemical industry and its unintended environmental effects. This, for Carson, exemplified the catastrophic accidental impact that humans can have on the environment. In Silent Spring, Carson focused specifically on the chemical DDT, which is used to kill mosquitoes. She chronicled how this pesticide affected animals throughout the food chain, exploring its impact on bird populations in particular. Carson argued that DDT had proved to be an indiscriminate killer. Its fatal effects were not just limited to mosquitoes, but extended to every insect it touched. Carson described the bioaccumulation effect in which the birds which consumed these insects built up higher and higher levels of DDT. Eventually they died and were in turn consumed by larger animals. This way, the chemical worked its way up the food chain, eventually reaching humans. Carson detailed the health effects that DDT had on humans, from liver disease to cancer. For Carson, this specific example was part of a wider message. To her, humanity should be wary of using our scientific advancements to solve environmental problems. Let's imagine Carson's views in action. A country decides to spray edible but non-digestible red dots around the countryside. Only insects eat the tiny red dots, but this doesn't mean they're contained to the insect population. Let's say a bird eats 10 insects, which each have one red dot in them, and so the bird consumes 10 red dots. Through this bioaccumulation, the bird faces a dangerous level of the dots and dies. A wolf then comes along and eats the bird with its 10 red dots, alongside many others. The wolf can tolerate more red dots than the bird, but may still face other unforeseen problems. For example, the wolf's immune system may be weakened by the red dots, allowing a disease to kill the wolf when winter comes. Additionally, over time, the uneaten dots find their way into the soil and rivers. Villagers in the country fish and drink directly from the rivers, and over time, they build up a concentration of red dots in their bodies. While it doesn't kill them immediately, over the next 20 years, the villagers start to fall ill and die. Rachel Carson's Silent Spring helped spur the grassroots environmentalist movement in the 1960s. Her work helped end the use of DDT for agricultural purposes in the United States. A more detailed examination of her ideas can be found in the Macat Analysis.